Hi, I'm Simon from The Logo Company and this is A Bright Smile, Branding and Marketing for the Dental Industry. When it comes to marketing, dentists face an uphill battle. Whether it's fair or not, many people dread a visit to the dentist. To make matters worse, many dentists face fierce competition, striving to make their practices stand out from dozens or even hundreds of others. In spite of the difficulties of marketing a service that is often unpopular, it's absolutely necessary to build a memorable brand if you want your practice to thrive. How to create a unique dental brand. What are the elements of an effective dental brand? The key is finding a way to balance familiarity. Many dentists choose images of teeth or smiles for their logos with creativity. The branding message you send with your logo and marketing will determine how well you stand out from your competitors. Tips for competitor research. What do you know about your competitors? Dentistry is very much a local concern, so the chances are good that most of your competitors have practices within a few miles of yours. You can learn who they are by looking at your local directories and online. The services you offer are most likely similar to those of your competitors, but ask the following questions as you look at the competition. What services do I offer that my competitors don't? What things set me apart from other dentists in my area? What are the most common images my competitors are using in their branding? The answer to these questions can help you identify ways to make your brand unique, special and appealing to your target audience. Ideas to help you convey your speciality. Regardless of what you do, you can undoubtedly find one or two things that make you stand out from your competitors. Even if your services are similar, you may have other specialities, such as a knack for working with kids or the ability to calm nervous patients who fear going to the dentist. Your branding message should convey those things in an instant. Your logo is one area where you can express your uniqueness. If you're a dentist who specializes in children's dentistry, a logo featuring primary colors or a kid's smile could do the trick. Many orthodontists use images of straight teeth to communicate what they do. It may help to brainstorm ideas about what makes your practice different. You can use those things to create a strong brand. Logo design considerations and pointers. When it comes to choosing the right logo for your practice, it's important to keep certain things in mind. While you might want to use teeth or a smile in your logo, the chances are good that your competitors do that too. Remember, the key to effective branding is to be unique, not to look like everybody else. In general, you should stick to clear, easy to read fonts. Many dental practices choose colors like blue and green, which are soothing and convey trust. However, there are certainly exceptions. This logo we designed for a practice that specializes in oral surgery uses a butterfly, a symbol of change, to convey its speciality without being obvious. The Biltmore logo with the B as the butterfly. The subtle rainbow colors serve as a way of suggesting new beginnings, the way a rainbow signals the end of a storm. Overall, it's an effective and unique logo that certainly makes this practice stand out in a crowd. Marketing strategy made easy. Once you have chosen a logo, the next step is to think about your marketing strategy. Any marketing you do requires careful planning. How to create patient personas. The first step in your marketing strategy involves patient personas. Who are your target patients? In most cases, you'll want to market directly to them, but there are exceptions. For example, if you have an orthodontia practice, you'll need to think about two things. Number one, the children who are your patients. And number two, the parents who actually pay for your services. Since children are unlikely to be the ones choosing an orthodontist, you have to target parents with your marketing. However, it's also important to use kid-friendly branding because any parent who makes an appointment with you is also bound to be thinking about the experience their child will have with you. It's a balancing act. Some dental practitioners may need to create more than one patient persona. The key is to think about who is buying your services and why, and then use that information to create marketing campaigns designed to appeal to them. 
tips to choose the best places to market your dental practice. The key to any successful marketing strategy is to choose your battles wisely. You want your marketing budget to stretch as far as possible and the best way to do that is to consider the marketing platforms most likely to reach your target audience. When you created your customer persona, you may have discovered that many people in your target audience are affluent women. That demographic is highly likely to use Pinterest and so a bit of research might indicate that setting up Pinterest boards with photographs and infographics would be an effective way of reaching them. Think about your target audience and make a list of advertising options that are most likely to work for your practice. Then you can allocate your budget accordingly. Why you can't ignore social media. Social media has become a marketing powerhouse and no dental practice can afford to ignore it as a way of reaching potential patients and engaging with existing ones. The benefit of using social media for marketing is that it gives you an opportunity to connect with people in a way that goes beyond pure advertising. Instead of outright selling your services, you can use social media to share relevant and valuable information with your target audience. It's a practice known as content marketing, and it's the best way to build a strong brand, attract new patients, and increase the brand loyalty. Creative content marketing ideas for dentists. Coming up with new and creative ways to market your practice is a must if you want it to grow. Here are some ideas that can help you make the most of your marketing budget. YouTube videos. Use YouTube to share videos that illustrate who you are and what you do. Videos might not seem like an obvious tool to market a dentist practice, but that's exactly why making them is a good idea. Video content is highly shareable. Here are just a few ideas you might want to consider. Make a video introducing yourself and your staff. This might be a particularly effective tactic if you specialise in treating fearful patients or kids because familiarity can help alleviate their concerns. Do a toothbrushing or flossing demonstration to help make sure your patients are engaged in good oral hygiene. Record some patient testimonials or success stories and share them on social media. Videos like these can put a human face on your practice. Blogging benefits and ideas. The next marketing idea is adding a blog to your website if you don't already have one. Blogging has some significant benefits. It ensures that you're constantly adding new content to your site and that means that Google will have to re-index it on a regular basis. Since Google can give priority to fresh content, adding a blog can give you a leg up when it comes to improving your search ranking. Blogging is an effective way of increasing patient engagement and providing value. You can share oral hygiene tips, talk about specific services you offer and even discuss advances in dentistry. The key is to keep each blog post relevant to your target audience and to use social media and other avenues to share your blog posts as you publish them. Infographics, images and more. Graphic content is more popular than any other kind of content shared on the internet. Photographs, cartoons, infographics and memes are all easy to understand and share and that means that you can't afford to ignore them as a way of engaging with your audience. One particularly powerful tool for dental practices to use is before and after images. This is an effective way of demonstrating a speciality. You might also want to consider hiring a graphic designer to make an infographic demonstrating a key point about dental hygiene. Keep in mind that unique images are always preferable to stock images if you have the budget to buy them. However, well-chosen stock images can be effective too particularly if you pair them with written content or find some way to make them unique. Content marketing, when you do it properly, can help you turn one-time patients into loyal brand ambassadors. How to maximize your return on investment. The final step in any marketing campaign is to measure the results and tweak the campaign itself to maximize the return you get on your investment. There are several tools you can use to measure the performance of your marketing campaigns. Google Analytics can help you determine how many people are visiting your site and what they're doing once they get there. Looking at bounce rates can help you determine which pages on your site need to be updated. Facebook Insights provides valuable information about how many followers are engaging with your posts and can help you identify popular content. Email Analytics can be useful in determining the effectiveness of an email campaign, giving you information about open rates and click-through rates. 
As you review your analytics, make note of areas where your marketing campaign's performance is lagging. Those are areas that can be improved. Once you have a list of potential improvements to make, it's time to start testing. The most effective method to use is something called split testing. It involves coming up with a hypothesis to test. For example, you might think that changing the headline on your homepage would help reduce your bounce rate. The testing process works like this. Number one, come up with a hypothesis to test. Number two, create an alternative to one element of your campaign. Only test one element at a time. Number three, run side-by-side -side tests, directing half of your traffic to the original page and half to the new one. After at least a week of testing, evaluate the results and update your page as needed. The testing you do can help incrementally improve your campaign's performance and, over time, maximise your return on investment. Conclusion The key to effective branding and marketing for the dental industry is to evaluate the competition, know your target audience and then to use that information to create a unique and memorable brand. If you do that, you'll be able to grow your practice. You can read more about branding and marketing for dental practices at https thelogocompany.net forward slash dentist. Please do like and share this video. My name is Simon McArdle and thanks very much for watching.